capital market is an important market in, in Nigeria in terms of providing funding both for government and also for uh, corporate Nigeria. And of course, over the last no uh, years, we've deepened this market with the introduction of new products. So getting together to discuss the capital market, to share ideas around how the market can be deepened, um, it is a very welcome move. Um, in terms of the depth of our financial markets generally, uh, the level of government securities to GDP is around 13%. It's quite low. Uh, there is quite a way to go. So we would welcome uh, a fora at which um, avenues for deepening of this market in improving the investor base and of course improving the product offerings uh, that will actually attract investors. What we've observed from uh, international portfolio flows is that the majority of the money that's coming into Nigeria in terms of investor capital is going into primarily the debt markets and, um, and to a lesser extent the um, equity markets. Of course we're keen to see foreign direct investment and also companies listing because that's really the engine of new products coming into the capital market. But from the government end we'll continue to introduce new products. We've done the savings bond. We've just recently concluded the, the first sovereign sukuk that was successful uh, and we'll continue to try and introduce new products to um, deepen and innovate in the market. Nigeria is very much re ready for business and my message it's not just to the foreign investing community. Of course, the majority of uh, capital market instruments are purchased domestically. So there's a very strong message to the domestic investors as well as the foreign investors. And indeed, they both act in the same manner. They're both looking for return. Our message is very simple, that we are restructuring this economy. Uh, we believe that Nigeria is an oil plus economy. We are going to drive growth in other sectors. We're going to see companies grow and hopefully list and hopefully have requirements for capital that can be met in the, in the capital markets. We see Nigeria getting not only out of where it is, but more importantly, really growing quite aggressively. Uh, we think agriculture has upside. We think solid minerals has upside. We think services has upside. Um, and so we're very um, positive and very bullish about Nigeria's prospects in the medium to long term. So my message to investors will be to start taking positions now uh, because, you know, Nigeria really is going to, to uh, grow quite aggressively in, in forthcoming years because of the reforms that we're driving. Uh, the infrastructure gap, as you said, is a considerable one and it's one of the biggest problems and a bit barriers to growth and we're determined um, to, to address it. Of course, uh, one way is, is through direct government bonds, but also us being able to um, open avenues for private capital to come in and address some of the infrastructure needs will also help to deepen the market. Uh, and we're, we're working very hard on that. We have a number of new infrastructure initiatives that we believe will need debt finance and hopefully the, the capital market will be able to bridge uh, that cap. Uh, specifically our road trust fund product which allows um, private investors to come in and take on road projects in, in return for tax relief also allows um, them to leverage uh, in order to finance those projects. So we, we see a number of uh, opportunities for the debt capital market to um, assist us in um, bridging the infrastructure gap. But the, the thing is about the infrastructure gap is it's much talked about. Unless specific products are structured that actually meet that gap, it'll just be talk. And one of the things we're trying to do is actually specifically design products and design windows and avenues that will enable those products to come to the market. Well, as far as the government is concerned, we're very committed to the capital market. I personally attend the CAMIC meetings, um, that's the capital market's master plan um, meetings, to make sure that the reforms that we need to drive are driven and driven quickly. Um, my overall message is that there is a real urgency around the reforms that we need to drive. We all need to move a lot faster, but there is considerable upside and considerable calls for optimism. Um, if we can get things right. Um, Nigeria has everything it needs to grow, everything it takes uh, to grow uh, and I really look forward to um, a great deepening in our markets as, as things go forward. Again, uh, we have new products coming on, we have uh, initiatives that will deepen our mortgage market. Again, that's going to be fed by the capital market. So there's a lot happening. I think my message would be very much watch this space. Um, we are now at the stage where a lot of the things that we've been working on and incubating will begin to roll out.